I used to use dual monitors for years, then went back to a single monitor. I'm back to two now, so let's discuss if you need dual monitors and in what situations they're worth it. Back in 2010, I bought three 24 inch monitors. After a while, I realized I only really used two of them, so dropped down to dual monitors for many years. As I started making monitor reviews on the channel over the last couple of years, I found that I'd often only be using one monitor, as I wanted to get the experience of using the monitor I'm reviewing for a few weeks at a time. This basically forced me back to using a single monitor, and it's always made me feel very restricted, at least as someone that has spent years using multiple screens. It's hard to explain if you've only ever used one monitor, but basically you just have more space for multitasking. It does of course depend on what you do on your computer, one screen might be perfectly fine for you. For me, often I'll be editing a video or working in Photoshop and I need the window full screened, so I can't do anything else at the same time. There have been so many occasions where I've thought how good it would be just to have Netflix or a YouTube video playing off the side while I work that I can glance over to, but I've just never been able to get that workflow how I'd like with a single screen without alt tabbing all over the place. The extra time and effort involved with context switching adds up. This is where BenQ asked if I'd be interested in trying out a second EW3270U monitor, a 32 inch 4K HDR monitor which I've previously reviewed on the channel. I was keen to go back to the dual monitor life, so accepted and have been trying it out. Instantly, I moved my web browser and discord chats over to the second monitor off to the left and used my primary screen in front of me to work on content creation. It's so much easier not having to flick through different windows as things happen. Having everything I use readily available and laid out in front of me is something I missed a lot. Sounds great, right? Well, there are a few cons of having dual monitors. Specifically with this setup, I have found that two 32 inch monitors is a bit large. I need to move my head to properly see everything. Not the end of the world of course, but I don't remember this being an issue back when I was using two smaller 24 inch screens. So the size you're after is worth considering. The physical amount of desk space you have will also be a limiting factor. As you can see, I've got a fairly large desk. It's 2.1 meters by 2.1 meters, so I've still got plenty of room even with these two 32 inch panels. Most people have much smaller desks, so this may not be an option and a single monitor might be all you've got room for. So before buying two or a second monitor, make sure you do some measuring to check everything will fit. In terms of panel technology, something with a good viewing angle is generally recommended, like IPS or VA for example. Lower quality TN panels shift colors at different angles, so if you have two or three monitors wrapped around you, that could potentially look bad depending on where you position them. That leads right into the next negative. A second monitor basically doubles the price you're spending on monitors, assuming you're after a matching pair. Depending on what you're doing and your budget, it may make more sense to get a higher end single screen, like if you're doing color accurate work for example. Another example would be a high end gaming monitor. Buying two of those probably isn't needed for most people unless you plan on playing over two screens. Not really recommended with the availability of wider single screen options. You could of course have a more expensive gaming monitor as your primary screen and then some other cheap panel off to the side. The screens definitely don't have to be the same, I just think it looks nicer visually if they match. Having around the same size physically with the same resolution is recommended though, otherwise moving the mouse between them can feel strange as things probably won't line up. The next downside is potentially needing more GPU power. Again, this will depend on what you're doing. Modern graphics cards should have no issues at all displaying 4K 60Hz to two screens at once. But if you're planning on gaming over two screens, you might need a fair bit of power for the higher combined resolution, requiring a more expensive graphics card. From what I've said here, it sounds like there are more cons than pros when it comes to dual monitors. Despite this though, I still think they're worth it and I definitely recommend a dual monitor setup if you've got the space, can afford it, and if you do a lot of multitasking on your computer. Seriously, the difference is night and day. So how many monitors are you using with your PC? Or if you're using a laptop, do you connect any external screens when you're at home? I do that at work with my work laptop because working over a small 15 inch screen all day isn't a good idea. Let me know what works best for you down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos like this one.